Hi there, welcome again to Spikey, the MATLAB-based graphical user interface for monitoring spike train synchrony. In this movie, we show how to sort spike trains, either manually or according to some predefined criteria. This can be useful for the later interpretation of clustering results, for example in the context of neuronal coding. In this demonstration, we use a dataset, POSO groups, which was specifically created for this movie. As we can see, after pressing update in this dataset, there are four spike train groups with 10 spike trains each. From group to group, there is an increase in firing rate. In order to sort the spike trains, we switch the spike train selection from all to select trains and then press the select trains button. This opens the spike train selection and sorting window. As a visual orientation, in order to help keeping track of the original spike train order, spike trains are color coded. On the left, the individual spike trains, and on the right, the four spike train groups. In the first part, we demonstrate how the spike trains can be sorted by hand. There are a few possibilities. One is to mark individual spike trains and to move them, either position by position. or directly to the top or the bottom. The same can also be done for a group of spike trains. The group does not have to be consecutive. For example, it is possible to select a certain number of individual spike trains and move them collectively to the top or the bottom. Note that in case some of the spike trains are not useful at all, here they can first be marked and then deleted. This was manual spike train sorting. Before we continue, we for first reset the spike trains to their original number and order. Now in the second part, we show how to use predefined criteria to sort the spike trains automatically. Currently, we offer two different criteria, both motivated from analysis of neuronal coding, spike number and latency. For spike number, you can look at the whole dataset, but you also have the option to restrict the relevant interval to a smaller range. Here we choose the limits 4 and 6. Then you can either let the spike numbers in that interval decrease or increase. This was done for all spike trains together. Another option is to do it for each spike train group separately. Again, either in a decreasing or an increasing manner. For the second criterion, latency, there is only the onset to choose. Here we set it to 5. Then again, for all spike trains, we can let it either decrease or increase. And the same again within each group separately. Once we are satisfied with a certain spike train order, we confirm this order by pressing OK, and from then, the analysis can proceed as usual. Note that the same kind of sorting can also be performed at the plotting stage, once the results have already been calculated. So that's it for now. Cheers!